When my kids were removed, I was at a point in my life where I was physically dependent on opiates. Um, I was also using methamphetamines daily. Got in a fight with my girlfriend at the time and DCF got involved, came to the house and um, they asked me to take a drug test. And I told them I was just gonna be honest with you, I wouldn't pass my drug test. And uh, kind of things went from there, the kids were removed. Once my children were removed, I went into a very dark period of my life where um, I just quit caring about myself or uh, anyone or anything. I gave myself completely and wholly to my addiction and that's all I focused on every day. I completely lost myself, lost track of time, and had no thought in my mind that I would ever see my children again. What changed for me, I had a court date coming up, about to go back to jail for the third time, and a van pulled up with my case manager in it, whom I've never met, and I don't know how she found me there, when the Sheriff's Department couldn't find me and bonds agents couldn't find me. And she said, look, if you wanna get your kids back, get in the van, and we're going to court. And I didn't think that that was even an option. I thought it was so far beyond that, that it wasn't possible. She gave me out options that I didn't think I'd had anymore. She said she could get me into a program, start working my case, and she gave me hope that I didn't know I had. She uh, would take me to my court dates. She got me set up into a rehab program. She picked me up and took me to the supervised visits with my kids. She really kept me on the straight and narrow and let me know what the next step was to do from where I was at that time, from week to week. And I actually saw finally some light at the end of the tunnel. The foster parents played a huge role in making sure I was successful. My youngest daughter had autism and her foster mom taught me so much about how to deal with it. And um, she made sure that if there was any kind of family function of hers that my kids would be attending, that I was invited also. Her support group became my support group. Her friends reached out to me and made sure I was invited to all their activities too. And it was, that meant so much to me. When I was sitting in rehab by myself, reached, she reached out to me and let me know daily, you know, how my daughter was doing, what she was going through that day, if there was anything else going on, made sure that I was always included. And I had a connection there with my children again. It, it was amazing. And we're still friends today. Now in my life, I'm married. My wife has three kids and I have two, so we have five kids now. So I went from being, on my, being by myself in a dark place to always being surrounded by smiling faces. I work at Amazon 40 to 60 hours a week sometimes and I'm currently taking CDL classes through Amazon. Hopefully I'm going to start making some more money soon. Uh, four years clean, maybe more, I've honestly stopped counting. Um, I don't feel like I was ever that person at all. It's like it was just a bad memory or a bad dream. If there's any parting words I'd like to leave to a parent that's in the same position I was in, don't be afraid to connect with the child's foster parent. A lot of cases they want to meet you. Maybe if you burn all your bridges with your parents or with your family, you can get do like I did and get a good support system that way. Their friends became my friends and their family's still there for me today and for my kids. Uh, there are people out there that will help you and that want to help you. Reach out, find your case manager, get you into a program, something. There's all kind of things in place that can help you. You just have to reach out to them. Don't be embarrassed, don't be scared, just do it.